Let us bow our heads as we pray. Gracious and loving Father, we give you praise, honor, and adoration. Thank you, Lord, for restoring us time and time and time again. Thank you, Lord, for the car of this church, of this cathedral. Thank you, Lord, for all the hands that has been blessed to them. Father, I set our thanks in the name of Jesus. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable unto you. Through this world, Lord, let there be restoration in our relationship and society. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. In the name of God Almighty, and on behalf of our provost, I want to welcome each and every one of us to this service today. It is our prayer that the Lord will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. I want to celebrate the choir 106. Wow. May the Lord continue to be your strength in the name of Jesus. In heavenly places, when the time shall come, you will be among the choir in the name of Jesus. And if the Lord tarries, we will continue to enjoy more of this choir in the name of Jesus. The topic or theme we are considering today says, Restoring wasted years. Restoring wasted years in interpersonal relationship and society. Restoring wasted years. Years that have been unprofitable. Years that have one way or the other denied us our blessings restoring it and having the best of it. Interpersonal relationship is a willingness to stand beside one another person and help him or her in his or her body helping one another in our body. That is interpersonal relationship. It has to do with the relationship that exists in the church, in our family, in, among our friends, our neighborhood, our state, our nation, and international. It has to do with it. Permit me to tell you today that the spirit of unforgiveness gives place to the devil. If you cannot forgive someone who wrongs you, it is not possible for you to have interpersonal relationship. And you cannot be restored because God loves interpersonal relationship and he encouraged it. Until you understand that simple fact, forgiveness is a key in interpersonal relationship. Forgiveness is a key in interpersonal relationship. The mission, the mission of the devil is to steal, to kill, and destroy. John 10, 10. The devil in his corny ways always seeks to destroy your relationship with one another. That is why you could see husband and wife living together in the same house as 
neighbors. Some are even divorced completely. They've moved out of house. And the children, they are just in between. Today, I'm with daddy. Tomorrow, I'm with mommy. And when daddy needs you, you are not there. His high changes. When mommy needs you, you are not there. I know you will be without your father. Because the relationship is no longer smooth. There is no interpersonal relationship again. Beloved, this mission, this satanic mission can be avoided in your life, in my life. It can be avoided. As it's written in Genesis chapter 13 verses 1 to 18. We see Abraham and Lot. Like the Yorubas we see. Abraham understood that. And he also understand that if this relationship be broken, there will be separation between him and God and his nephew. He knows. So he decided to avoid it. He asked him, Lot, what do you want? Here we have it. Make your choice. If only we can live a life like that. Beloved, it will be so easy for us to have smooth relationship. The matter was taken to Abraham. And Abraham applied wisdom. Whenever matter is taken to us, what do we do? Most of the time we smile. <laughs> you listen to the person reporting, but in your heart, because of spirit of nepotism, you refuse to do the needful. And because of that, ah, no, 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 I can't do that. It's my brother. It's my sister, my son in God. No. Even when that person is doing something wrong, you refuse to say it. You are not building a good relationship. Gradually, you are destroying that person. And when that person comes to the realization of that, the relationship you think you are protecting will be broken. It will be broken. Let us see what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. And be kind to one another. Tender hearted Forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. You can see that forgiveness is a key in interpersonal relationship. Have you forgotten that thing that person did wrong to you? Let me quickly tell you this. There was a time I was deeply hot. I can be highly temperamental. And because I didn't want to act immediately, I had to sit and count some things, try to catch up with nature. I couldn't hold it. I had to approach someone older than me. And I made my mind known that gone are the days when Kunle Dina was Mandy, I would have destroyed this person. It takes me nothing. I can make such person not to walk again. But for God, I had to no, this is not Christ-like. Calm down. And at the end of the day, 
everything was resolved. And the pain I used to have is no longer there. The day it was resolved, the burden in my heart was taken away. Because whenever I see this person, I feel like you will get a step towards me again and I will teach you but that very day peace like a river flows through my heart and I feel good till today I'm feeling good God wants us to do the same to know how to forgive. When we forgive, you can be rest assured to have peace of mind. You can testify to it. When someone wrongs you and you see that person coming, I don't want to know the high spirit, how high you are, dancing and doing. Immediately you sight that person. There will be a kind of a coma in your spirit. Maybe I should say this in Yoruba, the way it will come to you. Oh, Rimo. Why the law on Molono? What you were church, you are here. You are now there. And lifting up hands in holiness, hand up full with sin. Why are you supposed to be praising your God? <laughs> you are born in hunger within you. And if the Holy Spirit is at that point to bless you, you will miss it. <laughs> One may be tempted to say, this person I cannot forgive. I cannot even go closer. I will be far away from this person. Because of what this dispensation is, this generation that we have, the person you just forgave now, in your own mind, you have free spirit. But you don't know what that person is having against you. You don't know. I also remember sometimes ago, when someone I always called father pinned me down and having the intention of destroying my ministry. The person called some of the members, blasphemed, said a lot of things, did a note to the bishop, and I was like, ah, could it be true until I received a copy of my own letter? <laughs> you know, the Yorubas, we say, I went to the person, I said, I call you father and you could do this to me. 